All right, I've had a few requests um, um, from my 1887 shotgun video to show how I um, reload for the brass shotgun shells. These are 12 gauge mag tech. Um, so I'll kind of go over a few things that you will need. Um, first, obviously you're gonna need some of the brass shells. Um, these happen to be 12 gauge, two and a half inch mag tech shells. So you'll need, you'll need those. Um, if you're gonna be popping out the primers, you, you'll need a, some kind of block or something to Put the shell in and then a nail to pop out the primer so what I've done is I took a spade bit and I drilled out and then I put a washer in there that gives me a good solid base to to hammer on to get the uh, the primer out I've relieved a good bit in the back to where I can kind of do several of these and um, before I have to to move uh, you know the thing get the primers out the bottom so these are going to be uh, brand new cases so I don't have to do that step but uh you'll need a wooden dial or a dowel of some sort to compress down the powder and the wads and you'll need obviously you'll need large pistol primers black powder um, I use 2FG this is Graph and Sons, but um, Go X or whatever will work. Some type of hammer or mallet to seat everything. And I use this particular thing. I'll be using the fiber wads and the over shot over powder cards. So uh, one, one other thing. This is the uh, this is a 20 gauge shell with a primer, spent primer still in it. Um, I use this as my one ounce. Um, I kind of got this measured out for my one ounce shot and my uh, powder. So I do basically do a square load, which is a equal amount of powder and equal amount of shot. Um, one ounce is, is not too bad. And this one ounce of uh, shot throws about 77 grains of powder. So what I do is... I get me a couple of uh, primers out and I, and I take the primers and I lay them flat on a, on a flat hard surface and then I go ahead and kind of get some of this stuff out of the way. So I, I lay them down on a flat surface, I line up the primer pocket, take my mallet, go ahead and hit that till it's flush, and that seats the primer. Then I take, and I, uh, now I'm, hopefully I'm going to get some scoops. Uh, this is just kind of temporary, but uh, I'm going to get, you know, get some, some better scoops, whatever. But what I do is I just take my 20 gauge scoop that I made and I put it inside this little butter bowl and dump some uh, powder in it. And I know that this amount of powder is going to be about 77. You can kind of see it's and that puts me at roughly 77 grains of powder. Then I take an overshot card, which these are 11 gauge overshot cards, and then I put that down. And you want to do it until you can kind of hear it crunch. Um, black powder needs to be compressed, so kind of got to see down there you know it's, there's no movement in it whatsoever then I take that same scoop and open up my shot now this this particular amount here would be 
Um, well, first, first what I do is I happen to take two, I found two of these fiber wads in this particular uh, load. I just put them down in the case, kind of get them started. Put it down in the case. Then I take this and just kind of give it a, a few light taps just to kind of, you know, you don't, you're not trying to crunch it all down, but you want it to be snug in there. So then I take my 20 gauge that I've, you know, shell. You can use a 12 gauge shell or whatever, but I just find that this one works pretty good. And then uh, what I do is I just get my shot. And I know that that's going to be about one ounce of shot. So I dump it down into the into the shotgun shell you can kind of see and I just kind of move it around a little bit till it kind of everything kind of evens out then I take me another over shot card and I put it on there and that pretty well you know seals that part of it then I take the back side of my dowel and just kind of give it a little bit of a tap just to kind of have an area where, you know, it's there. So after that step, then you just grab your, you can use, people use water glass or lots of other different things. I use um, Elmer's glue, but I just take it and I just run a bead around the inside lip. Open just a little more around that inside lip. And that kind of seals everything up. Let that dry and it'll be ready to go. Um, now I do normally write on there what shot it is, so I would put seven and a half on this one. But, uh, sorry about that. Every time I seem to try to do something, seems like I get a phone call. But, again, I'll take another brass, another um, primer. And I like these MagTech shells because you are able to use uh, large pistol primers, which, luckily, at the moment, I have a... A good bit, a good bit of all uh, large pistol primers, so that kind of helps me out. Now, you just got to make sure that this surface is flat and smooth. Um, you don't want, you know, something to puncture this as you're doing it because that wouldn't be good. But as long as it's a smooth surface, uh. You're, you shouldn't have you shouldn't have no no real issues. You just want to make sure you get it flat or even maybe a little bit below the surface. But all right, so take that, and then I will again. I just take my little thing here, dump some black powder into this. And obviously, this is a very primitive way of doing this. You can uh. Definitely, you know, get a, a, a better scoop on that. But, you know, I was asked my process, and um, I'm fairly new to to this. So, you know, I hope to evolve this over time and, um, you know, get some better tools and stuff like that. But I'm, what I'm trying to do is find a, uh, I'm trying to find some, uh, some antique loading tools and that's why that's why I haven't you know you can use more modern tools and stuff like that but I'm trying to find some of the more antique style of tools because I want to uh, that's what I want to use but when you push down this overshot over powder card you want to you'll hear it kind of crunch in there I'm sure the camera's not picking it up 
once you get it crunching, you know, just give it a little tap just to make sure it's seated, you know, well. And then, uh, like I said, I find that the two two of the uh, five, um, not five, but two of the fiber, fiber wads, sorry, I can't speak right now, but, uh, you know, they kind of fill up the cavity in there pretty well and don't leave a whole lot of, you know, <clears throat> a room. You know, you got enough room for your shot, but you're not having uh, all this extra room. Um, you know, obviously I could put one fiber wad and it would be further down in there. Um, but, <clears throat> so then I just get my thing again and uh, go ahead and top it off. And again, I know that's gonna be about an, uh, about an ounce of shot. So, dump that in there. And, and this load seems to work fine with the, uh, with the 1887. I have not had any issues whatsoever with, um, you know, recoil knocking anything loose or, you know, or doing anything like that when I, when I'm shooting. So, I know some people uh, get a little nervous. They think the, uh, that it's not going to hold together um, in a repeater or, you know, they want to, some people use them in double actions or, I mean, double barrels or single shot. Um, but I've loaded up several in my 1887 and you can see that video um, also on my page, on my YouTube channel. But um, I haven't had no problems with these breaking loose under recoil and dumping out my shot or anything. So um, I have, you know. I'll go ahead and seal this up now with the Elmer's glue. And, uh, you know, some, like I said, there's other things you can use. Water glass, uh, which is uh, sodium silicate, I believe. And, but this Elmer's glue works good. It, uh, it dries up nicely and... I um, haven't had any problems, so um, I hope that kind of lets people know um, how I'm doing it right now. Uh, very primitive. I went to Home Depot and bought a three-quarter inch dial. I kind of tapered the end of it a little bit. Works fine. This is, like I said, this is a 20-gauge shell that I cut down. Um, I was trying to use a 12-gauge shell, but honestly, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't see my line through the through the shell so I used uh, 20 gauge because I could see through that yellow and was able to make a, a better cut so um, I use this for my shot and my powder and you know butter bowl I stole out of the wife's kitchen and you know the, the components so <clears throat> um, uh, right now I'm using the wolf large pistol primers because it's what I have um, a lot of but I also have some uh you know you can use any of the, the large pistol primers so yeah so uh i hope this helps some of y'all out there if uh if you have any questions feel free to you know write me uh, a, a message and let me know or um yeah so that's it so uh please like share subscribe i'll try to bring you more of this kind of content like always um if you like cowboy guns like i do you know stuff like that feel free to check out my page um i'm also on instagram as the same name uh, j wheeler 331 but uh i'm gonna go ahead and make up a few more of these uh that i have right here i've got some brass that i shot saturday that's uh in the tumbler in there doing some tumbling or whatever so uh anyway yeah thanks for watching
All right, if you're still here, um, I appreciate it, and uh, thanks for watching. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Uh, hit the, the bell for the notifications to let you know when we do uh, drop another video, and please, please check out all my other videos. I have a pretty good uh, amount of videos on here of shooting cowboy guns and some other guns, some World War II guns, but um, if you've seen the channel before, you know the cowboy guns is kind of where my heart's at so that's i do a lot more of those that's the kind of guns i enjoy buying that's the kind of guns i enjoy shooting but uh yeah so like share comment subscribe and we'll see you next time thank you